in a beautiful text about Hermann Broch, an author she felt very close to, Anna Arendt defines politics as the inherently anarchic conglomeration of human beings in the conditions of life on earth, end of quote. Arendt, to be sure, is not celebrating political chaos or dispersion. She's commenting, rather, on the presence and absence of any absolute grounding for the beginning of life in common. Arendt's preoccupation with the principle of beginning is at the center of her political and philosophical task, a task, if I may add, which is not modest at all, since she's trying to understand unprecedented forms of freedom and domination within modernity. On the one hand, revolutions, she writes, are the only political events which confront us directly and inevitably with the problem of beginning, end of quote. On the other hand, total domination suppresses the very capacity for beginning insofar as it annihilates human plurality. All in all, both the revolutionary experience and the advent of totalitarianism constitute the theater in which the Arendtian drama of beginnings unfolds. 